What's up guys, just a very, very quick video to say I managed to fire up the 1977 black and white Ferguson portable TV that is my wife's that she got handed to her uh, from family. Um, I don't believe this TV's really been used um, for God knows how long. So I had to do a bit of research on it. But 1977, I believe it was released. Um, and to be honest, this is my NES that, um, not my original NES that I bought, um, as, which I had as a kid, but I rebought in about 2004, way before prices blew up for box NESs. I think I got this for about £25 on eBay. So um, it was, and I haven't actually booted this NES up for 10 years or so, which is really bad when I think about being a Nintendo fan and stuff. But there's just been much more convenient ways to play NES games but now I've started collecting NES again um, I thought why not boot up the only CRT TV that is in my possession at the moment and here we are obviously the flicker is just something that you know refresh rate of these old TVs doesn't pick up very well um, on cameras but um, nice to boot, uh, give uh, my Super Mario Brothers 2 car I picked up at Revival last year as well um, which is in almost mint condition. Nice to know it works. Um, so I might leave this here so my son can see it for the first time. Black and white TV and a Mario game playing on here until he tries to destroy it, obviously. But uh, until then, um, I just thought I'd give you a, a quick look at, at getting his thing up and running, which was um, I was worried for a minute because I think the contrast and the and darkness and everything was set really low. So I was struggling to get any picture and the tuning dial um, down down the bottom here is very very um, precise so to get this image that I have even though you can hear a little bit of static in the background of the sound um, was 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 a tough call just to get this um, the image spot on but it's, it's kind of strange that um, black and white is how I played my original Atari and whenever I borrowed my mate's NES it was in black and white because the only other second TV we had in the house was a, a slightly newer Ferguson actually black and white TV from about 1982 I think um, so yeah to be able to see some NES in action in glorious black and white is uh, it's quite a throwback and um, nice to see my NES is still up and running working well obviously it helps having a, a cart that's in good condition but yep yeah, um, nice to see this is very much a, a throwback for 2020 isn't it so cheers for watching guys I'm gonna bust out the controllers for this and have a quick game peace